Mataji Tip 2. When we do our retreats, online or in person, we always do the morning refuges, precepts, and Dhammapada verses. When we read the Dhammapada verses, people often ask, why do we do just these verses? Bhante Vimala Ramsey, our main teacher, our main guide, he chose these and doesn't want us to change them because he feels that modern man needs these the most at this time in the world. So I'm going to go over them this week and short tips for you to understand. First one is mind is the forerunner of all evil states. Mind is chief, mind made are they. If one speaks or acts with an unwholesome mind, because of that suffering follows one, even as the wheel follows the hoof of a draft ox that is pulling a cart. So evil states or good states, the mind is chief and everything starts in the control center of the mind with our life. From the control center, the thought turns in to a verbal action or physical action that follows. And what you do in the present time will dictate what happens in the future after that. So when we look at the situation, we need to understand if that is where the source of our suffering begins, then that is where we should work first in reminding ourselves to be careful what happens in our mind at all times. How you think leads to how you speak, and how you speak leads to your action. Once your action escapes you as speech or action physically, then that karmic action which took place, what follows, will be a payback to you. So be sure this week that you keep wholesome minds in all your actions, wholesome thoughts first, then speech, then action, and you'll have a happy day. Keep smiling. Keep going with your practice. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.